with another DJ Burto Bear Review. It's time to dive in the depths of some big ass hoppy beer. From whom am I going to acquire said big ass hoppy beer? Well, we got one from Vermont here. So my buddy Eddie, who's got a daughter up in Vermont, has hooked me up with a beer from Fiddlehead Brewing Company out of Shelburne, Vermont, US of A. Yay, yay! And what beer do we have from Fiddlehead? We have their second fiddle. This is a DIPA. It's a rotating serving. It's clocking at 8.2% ABV and 80 IBUs. That's all I know about the beer, except for Eddie is awesome to hook me up with this beer because I've been wanting to drink this one for a while. But I got a theory. Since I've been drinking craft beer for a long time, eventually, you know what, like Hazy Boom Sauce and some of these others here, Caribou and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Conky Dong, etc., they come to you through trades and buddies because craft beer people stick together, right? Right? Anywho, now flap my gums, time to crack the top on this bad boy, get in the snap out, and tell you what's up with Second Fiddle from Fiddlehead Brewing Company. Ah, nice crack off the top. Ah, let's get this New England DIPA in the glass. Mm, 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 yeah. Look at that hazy deliciousness. We got a nice pounder here so we can pour it deep. Of course, let's go. Let's talk about the appearance. It's a hazy, pale yellow color. When I swirl it, yeah, we're getting tons of alcohol lakes gripping down the inside of this vessel here. Ah, and I think we're going to get some nice glass lacing as well. Look at that hazy beauty in the snapta. But you know what? It's pretty. It better smell good too. So let's dive in for that aroma. Woo! Dank tank. Big, dank, herbaceous. Piney hops. After that, a nice, nice hit of citrus juice. More dankness. This one's so dank, I'm getting a little bit of that dank, like almost onion effect that you get sometimes from real dank beers. Mm, this reminds me of the first time that I smelled Ruin 10 from Stone, when that big dank tank blasted up in my face that that beer was way back when, when Stone used to put out beers like that. I haven't really done so so recently, but enough said about that. Pine, wow, bit, lots of grassy herbaceousness, more citrus, some stone fruit. And like dank pineapple. Man, this smells delicious. Thanks a million for hooking me up, Eddie. Cheers! Mmm. Wow. Dank tank. Mmm. Wow. Up in your grill with dank resinous hops. After that, mmm. Man, this reminds me of some ways when you get heady topper really, really fresh. You, you get that big dank punch in the grill. This beer is two weeks old at time of recording, so that's plenty fresh. Probably it's getting in that like peak kind of area, two to three weeks, sometimes right right can that day. These beers aren't all as like impressive as they are when they get a little bit of time for those flavors to meld. Mm, I'm digressing. You're not surprised. After that, the aftertaste of that is of pithy citrus zest orange kind of grapefruit thing going on maybe a little tangerine too the stone fruit that's in the aroma and so much in the taste because there's so much dankness and pine and herbaceousness and then citrus zest is like mouth watering so you know that, that gets lost there's still juiciness in this beer but man this is a freaking dank tank i'm gonna crush this once <laughs> this review's done i really like dank beers and this is filling the bill look at that awesome glass lacing as well just as I suspected, man. And the 8.2% on this, like, medium full-bodied beer is completely freaking hidden. Yum. Yum. You hear I'm geeking out. Let's grade this beer. At time of recording, Beer Advocate's giving it 4.47 out of 5. That's that's A-plus level, for sure. And, like, a 99, 98, somewhere in that range. And Untapped is giving this 4.32 out of 5. That's definitely freaking A-plus level. I'm going hashtag hundies. I love dank beers. This beer rocks the house for me. You know what? It's A plus 98 to 100 for me for sure, but I'm giving hashtag hundies because there's nothing I'm wanting for in this beer. There's juiciness in there, not like extreme, you know, New England IPA juiciness, but there's tons of dank up in your face hops, and that's to me what a DIPA should be. It should be like bang, pow. You know what? I got lots of hops, and there's no bitterness in the back end with a dry finish. <laughs> yeah. So... We gotta talk about something important now, and that's thinking globally, drinking locally, and supporting the craft beer movement. And also rating, commenting, subscribing, especially if this is your first time with us, right? And getting around to it and kind of smashing that like button. Because that, along with a big ass thanks to my buddy Eddie who hooked me up for this so I could finally drink second fiddle. Ah, and this whole snifter and pounder here is all 
I'm gonna need to put my big ass beer drinking happy face on today. So, to the next DJ's brew tube, I got ah, nothing but a hell of a bunch of second fiddle beer D-I-P-A, drinking love for you, hell yes. And you know what's coming for you by now, that's right, a big ass. Yeah!